What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm about Halloween ends in this video here again today, going over the new mask that we got from Trick or Treat Studios and talking about the cave dweller stuff as well as Michael's powers and the transferableness of said powers because it's not Michael himself as much as it might be coming from Michael's mask. This idea that I've seen tossed around. So Trick or Treat Studios, of course, gave us this look at this mask, a replica mask you see here on your screen. Uh, the most accurate closest things what we're going to see in the upcoming halloween ends when it releases later this year on peacock and in theaters and the same time on october 14th this mask as you see has mold on it now none of this i guess is shocking to a lot of people only because yeah if you're out there living like a wild man and you keep that dirty mask of course it's gonna have some mold that it gets exposed to or be exposed to things that could cause mold to form on it especially if you're living in a sewer which goes back to the working title that we know this movie had of cave dweller so we've seen glimpses of the mask already in the trailer that we've got back in june and we already know or july i meant to say and we already know that there seems to be something going on with this boy named Corey Cunningham and Michael Myers. So I'm just going to jump right on into it when it relates to powers and stuff like that. If Michael's powers do indeed come from his mask, then are they also going to then address the fact that the mask he wore in 63 when he killed his sister Judith had powers as well or gave him powers as well? And if they do, are they going to address where said mask came from? Because I believe a lot of people will want them to then go down the rabbit hole of the silver shamrock thing. But here's what if they decide to, you know, gloss over that and not say it's coming from silver shamrock, which you just, of course, leave it up for you to interpret that. Yeah, it came from silver shamrock. Or what if it came from somewhere else? And this mask is something else altogether that just causes evil but if that's the case again where did it come from and why why did it chose michael why did it choose michael i guess i should say uh because at the end of the day truthfully does that even make sense for his mask to hold the powers if they do something like that i think i could see a lot of people poking poking fun and saying that doesn't make sense the biggest thing for me as to why that wouldn't make sense and for many others is if i'm remembering correctly Michael Myers stole this mask from a hardware store or he stole he stole some rope. Apparently, I think is what uh, Bracket has said. Uh, he stole that knife and then he stole that mask. So if he stole the mask from a store, why does that mask have powers? Where did it come from? Uh, was it was that the only mask in there that was like that or what what's going on with that store where he where he stole this stuff from i'm pretty sure that would be a question mark many people would have if they revealed that his mask is the source of his powers because here's the other thing if his mask is the source of his powers assuming this happens and if this is true going off of what we see in the trailers and the fact that michael myers has a ring on his hand which is a sign that that's not michael myers it's someone else dressed as michael myers if Corey cunningham dons the mask and those overalls more specifically just the mask is he going to inherit those powers those powers of course being in, in somewhat invincible super strength maybe i would assume and you know just a ability to withstand any danger that comes your way or any harm that comes your way while that mask is on because that also raised the question of of course well if Corey has the mask if they take out michael without the mask is he going to die I just don't think that that idea is going to come off as well on screen the way some people think it might. And I'm not saying that doesn't mean that they won't still do it. You can you, you can still do something that's very stupid. I just don't think that it's going to come off as well on screen if they decide to go down that hole of saying Michael gets his powers from this mask. Because um, then that would beg the question, okay, well, if he got it from this mask, what about the mask from 63? What's going on there? It seems like Michael is a target when it comes to these masks. But we know that's not true because Michael single-handedly picked that mask out when he was stealing stuff from the hardware store for the from the 78 original movie. I think what they would probably be better off doing, if you want to go down that supernatural rabbit hole, you'd be better off discussing something in which Michael was born with an essence of evil inside of him something that latched itself onto michael at a very young age and it's just been living and feeding off of michael ever since but then when something happens with Corey cunningham that same essence of evil decides to jump to Corey if michael is taken out of commission you could do something like that if michael ends up dying in the movie 
you could end up doing something where I guess that essence of evil that was powering Michael uh, and going over again how evil can be transferable. But in this case, it's a literal thing because evil is a invisible force that we can't see it's an invisible force that attached itself to michael in in 1963 maybe a few years prior had been festering inside of him and growing up until the point where he killed his sister rendered him mute left him completely confused as to what's going on because he's basically not in control it's this evil this essence of evil in control that's using michael as a vessel if you take out the vessel that essence of evil will then jump to the next thing that's around which in this case i guess will be Corey cunningham and if they do that i don't know too many people already off the top of my head without even seeing the movie and probably even after it that will want to see them revisit this timeline if all they're going to do is tell Corey cunningham stories and how he's the new michael myers because the essence of evil jumped to him i just think that that would probably be a safer thing to do versus going down a narrative in which you say hey his mask gives him his powers and not tied into the silver shamrock thing because you should probably you probably be better off just mentioning silver Sam, silver shamrock at that point not saying that his mask gives him his powers and then not address it i really hope they don't go down that path of him having powers from his mask i'd rather you just say that he's supernatural through the fact that michael myers himself is not supernatural i think i think david gordon green has stated this michael isn't supernatural and i guess it would still be true he's not supernatural because this whole time something was controlling him it's this essence of evil that was controlling him it could jump out of michael and then jump into Corey cunningham but then also in a lot of ways wouldn't that devalue a lot of the mystique around him because you've revealed the true source of what's making him tick it's like a 50 50 thing for me i in one regard if you do it do it well and on the other hand don't do that because then it might undermine some of the stuff as far as the mythos and the mystique of what myers represents and that unknown about his character and how that just makes him even scarier but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if would you want to see a narrative in which his mask was the source of his powers or not if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video